Guess what, ladies? It's Monday, it's the beginning of the week, and that means it's time for you to wake up. So y'all already know how we do it over here. Every other Monday, we have what we call Patreon topic videos. And if you want to put your two cents in on the themes of the topics that I'll be talking about in these videos, you can go to patreon.com slash Adrian Expression and put your votes in every other Tuesday. Go so check it out. So this topic is really interesting that I'm the one talking about it because I feel like a lot of times my brain is in a lot of places. But I guess that means I'm the perfect one to talk about it. I don't know. So I just came up with four tips that I use, four tricks that I use to, to kind of keep myself on track hopefully you can take at least one of these and apply them and if you have any tips that you want to share with everybody please put it in the comments because I promise you I'm gonna need them <laughs> I always need new things to keep me like to keep myself focused on the task in front of me or tasks I need to do so when you're surrounded by distractions of course you have to take yourself out of uh, environments with a lot of distraction if you can but some people they do not have the ability to do that and this can be especially difficult if this task that you're trying to do is something that you don't want to do so what the first tip that I have is to keep the end goal in mind and I know that every motivational speaker every author has said that but for me it's like the reason why I'm doing this today is because there's a bigger picture or something like that or um, sit your ass down like I tell myself like sit down right now envision it, it envision the task being completed so that these distractions take up less space in your mind I guess but I think a lot of times if you're sitting down and just doing monotonous work over and over and you don't keep the end goal in mind you don't keep um, the finished product in mind it kind of seems like what you're doing is pointless and that will put your morale down it's like why am I doing this in the first place but if you keep that finished product if you envision that paper being done if you envision the video being completed if you envision your work of art being done sitting down to do the individual steps it takes to get there will be a little bit less um, daunting a little bit less tedious at least that's what I found another tip I have and I think this is a really important one is to give yourself rewards um, for doing stuff. For, okay, so you have to if you promise yourself that you're gonna do X Y and Z and you complete X Y and Z that day You need to go I don't know if it's you need to go in the park and have some fun for those of you who love to exercise The only exercise I'm doing is dancing in a club with somebody's man. That's just it. You know what I mean? but whatever it is that you enjoy doing and especially after you told yourself all right I know I don't want to do this task that's in front of me I know I there's something I have to complete for my job or for whatever and I did it I did it so go out there and get yourself I don't know what a smoothie I don't know what the, the rewards are different for different people <laughs> but I find that it's almost like training yourself and also while you're working it gives you that motivation like okay I know that if I just keep working if I get this shit done I can take my ass over to my favorite restaurant and eat good and reward myself for what I did and I said so that is also another mo motivating factor to help you through especially if, like I said if you're surrounded by so many things that are trying to pull your attention of course purposely turn off if there's a TV that's pulling your attention turn it off for me um, when I'm working it depends on what I'm working on I can keep a TV on sometimes I want this shit on just for background noise um, but I know a lot of other people there uh, that shit does not work for them they will be looking every minute trying to see but for me I'm just like if it's dead silent in here and I'm editing or do so, I, that shit will drive me crazy. So, but yeah, limit the distractions. Like I said, there, there's some people, there's some environments where you can't do it. But I think giving yourself rewards or promising yourself rewards after you do a certain task definitely will keep you motivated to, to keep working. Now, this one is really ironic considering my workaholic personality, but I'm going to say it anyway, and this is going to be preaching to myself. Um, the third tip, the third trick is to give yourself breaks, okay? So I don't know, figure out an interval where, whether it's every 30 minutes or every hour or every 15 minutes, you need to sit, take your eyes off of the screen, take your eyes off of the paper for maybe five, 10 minutes. Do, run, I don't know, jogging, do some jumping jacks or some shit. I don't know, whatever it is, text somebody, then go back to your work. But I, I know that even though it's very tempting for me, I know I need to take breaks, like even though it's very tempting for me to just I need to keep working I can't stop I can't stop and it's just I remember reading this analogy about somebody who works to chop down trees right 
And so they would just keep chopping, just keep chopping, and they would be afraid that if they stopped to sharpen their axe, oh, I can't get, I need to just keep working. Uh, but it's just like, you can't keep, if the axe is dull, stop chopping. Sit your axe down, sharpen the axe, breathe, chill out, relax, go drink some water, and then, and then go back to chopping those trees down. As much as I'm preaching, I'm saying, yeah, girl, sit your ass down. It's honestly, I need to say that to myself because, because I don't, I find it hard sometimes to take breaks because I'm just like, I, the five minutes, the 10 minutes that I spent twirling around and breathing air and drinking water and eating, you know, some, something like eating, I could have done something, but it's just like your brain, your body will be exhausted if you just keep running it into the ground. And then not only that, you won't want to keep work, that, that gets ex mentally exhausting. You will want to keep working in the next task that you're faced with, you won't have the energy to complete it. And not only for that reason, but also take breaks to entertain yourself with the distractions that would have been distracting you while you're working. I don't know if that makes any sense. It almost ties into the give yourself rewards thing. But if you know in 30 minutes you can take a break, it would be less likely for your ass to be um, carried off course by a distraction when you know that you can just distract yourself. After the 30 minutes is done, you give yourself a time limit for five, 10 minutes, and then go back to your work instead of every everything that pops up um, in your peripheral, you're paying attention to. And the fourth one sounds a little cheesy, but it's definitely necessary. Uh, the fourth one is be kind to yourself, and this is also preaching to myself. When you're beating yourself up in your head, it's more likely that that you would you you'll just get up from the task and be done with it um, or just succumb to the distractions that are around you instead of beating yourself up instead of saying well I need to I don't know how to do this shit I need I, I need to do it I need to hurry up and finish it uh, I can't I can't believe it's taking me so long to do this shit just be kind to yourself because the opposite of all of these tips and tricks are for you to just sink into those distractions because it's much easier it's a much easier thing to do to just say whatever than to actually tackle the root of the problem and I think that if you give yourself some grace and mercy but also hold yourself accountable you at the same time it'll be easier for you to be motivated to do the things that you know are required so yeah I just wanted to make a video about that specifically because you know I remember my last live stream I told you at the very end of it I was like I don't know, this week has been pretty exhausting for me. It's been exhausting and so I just wanted to come up here and share kind of my experience with how I work and distractions around me and the things that I do to make myself focus better and work better. So hopefully any one of you guys can take at least something away from that. But please, honestly, in the comments, I want you to leave the tips and tricks that you use for yourself, how you stay focused, how you stay motivated, how you keep your morale up, when, especially when it's tasks that you don't want to do in every job, in every area, even creative areas there are specific parts of every position that are not fun to do even if you'd like your job as a whole there are parts of it every job that you just like all right I wish someone else could handle that shit you know so I would love to see how you guys keep your work ethic up and keep your minds motivated and focused thank you all so much for watching make sure that you go to patreon.com slash Adrian expression to put your two cents into these types of videos I love making these videos because I feel like we're like learning together type of thing thanks for checking it out and make sure you have a Good goddamn evening.